The finals just got its update 3.13. We'll talk about some of the details with that as well as this season for teasers. I'll give some of my thoughts on what to expect as well as a whole bunch more. Last up as always we'll go over some community mentionables. We got a ton to talk about. What's up world? It's YouTube back in with another video. Today we're checking out all things the finals. Okay so first up as always let's get into the patch stuff. We'll get into the update 3.13. And as usual, we got Oscar over on the Discord, who went on here to say we've arrived at the penultimate update of Season 3, 3.13. Shout out to Oscar for increasing my lexicon. Jumping back though, and this week's store rotation offers some pretty big shoes to fill. He mentions the Trick Paul Tanuki set, but we're gonna go over that in a bit. Next up though, he says they're nearing the end of Season 3, and they are full steam towards Season 4 here in the office. They can't wait to share more with us very soon. Now the update over on the patch note side of things is the exact same as the Discord one. So nothing of significance there. However, we do got to cover this next section, which is that if you didn't know today, or at least if you didn't watch it, there was a live stream for a community stream. That happened at 11 a.m. CST on September 11th. And it was with Fixie and Oscar. It was actually a really fun and interesting stream. I wanted to check it out this time, so I did watch it for myself before commenting or making a video on it. Definitely worth the watch. These guys actually have some really good back and forths. And honestly, I'm super excited to see what we get at TwitchCon. Jumping back, though, we did have that store update or the Trick Paw Tanuki set. And it wasn't just that set there. We actually had a skin literally called Big Shoes to Fill. And then we had that really cool dynamic grenade skin called Stripes and Solid set which does seem to rotate through those at a varying rate. That does cover for the patch note side of things or the update 3.13. As it seems like their primary focus is on season four, so we didn't get much of an update there, but that totally makes sense. We're only nine days away from the teaser, so we're literally at the last week here. Speaking of season four and some of the season four stuff that's going on, if you haven't seen already, I'll leave a link to it down below, but we do have this season four teaser trailer or teaser premiere that's gonna be coming out here very soon. Now this will be happening on September 12th at 10 a.m. CST, 11 a.m. EST, or 8 a.m. PST. Now this isn't a live stream or anything, this is literally just a premiere. So what it does is it's notifying you that there is something coming out then. It means on the back end side of things, if you don't know where Premiere is, they've already uploaded this video and they have it scheduled for it to launch at 10 a.m. Typically, there's a 60 second countdown and then you get to watch the video live and then it will be posted to the channel itself. That's if you didn't understand what a Premiere is, but that's how those work. I will include a link to this so you can view it live at 10 a.m. or whatever time your local is. This link should also work even when the video isn't quote unquote live anymore. As soon as it ends the Premiere or as soon as it goes through the length of the trailer, it will then be posted as a normal video that you can share around and watch and rewatch if you'd like. So all the links to that and everything will be down below in the description. Now I did have a comment or two over my Discord asking what my expectations are for this teaser. I figured I'd go over that just in case people want to know exactly what I think might be there. Now I have gone through some Discord messages, even from Rob and Oscar. Nothing really pointing to anything. I even watched the community live stream where Oscar did talk about or did showcase the teaser. He didn't exactly say what we might see during the trailer. I've had a few thoughts, I've gone back and forth, I thought maybe it might just be another lore video that we got with the finals load up sometimes. However, I did a check back and looked over at the description of the season 4 premiere trailer, and I really think this is the best we have to go off of where they said get a glimpse of season 4 as soon as this countdown ends. So I really think we might actually see the new map, we might see some teasers with the new skins of the battle pass. It does signify in the first portion here, are you ready for the show? I've heard varying rumors, again, nothing is concrete here, I haven't heard anything internal, but literally just rumor based that it might be back to a Showtime-esque of map. Wasn't able to pinpoint that comment there or where it was from Discord, but I have had people in my community comment it to me. Can't exactly remember where that was from, but yeah, I think we might be getting a map that might relate to the show, or at least the finals game show overall. Again, that's completely with a grain of salt, just putting two and two together there and seeing some of the comments that at least I read back on my Discord. Although when I searched back, I couldn't find them again. Of course, they said as usual, they're going to be dropping more information around Season 4. Curious as your guys' thoughts on it. You guys as a community really do help me out sometimes on finding certain information. Unfortunately, I sometimes miss out on certain things, even though I try my best not to. But I am curious on what you guys think of that Season 4, what we're going to go with the teaser trailer, all that stuff there. Jumping back quickly to Oscar and some updates there. This was an update I completely forgot to cover, but he essentially said during one of the last community live streams that cash out will be coming back to rank so it's no longer going to be terminal attack in ranked mode it's going to be the cash out normal mode which of course from the lore trailer and the lore teaser we kind of saw that they were talking about getting rid of the cns game mode so it kind of made sense that we were going to be seeing at least the removal of ta from ranked or we we're going to be seeing a change up there in the modes but cash out will be back for the ranked playlist and they also did mention here that on september 26th is when the new season is going to launch 
I thought it might have been on the 25th of September because that's when they launch updates usually on a Wednesday. However, if you played other games, a lot of patches, a lot of big updates for games happen on Tuesdays and Thursdays more so. So it totally makes sense for the 26th for them to get that update out. But yeah, we have an official date there. September 26th will be the launch of the new season or season four. Now I've had this pointed out to me by one of the community members, but essentially Rob has been going around in some of the fan art and fan work for some different weapon skins. This one in particular is for the throwing knife and fork skin. So of course we have throwing knives, but this is like an actual throwing knife and a fork skin. Now Rob has commented a bunch and even made a logo here saying, huh, because people have just been commenting with this and it's kind of been a meme of at least the community or a small portion of the community with this skin. They have added this as an emote in the official channel. So more than likely we are gonna be getting this throwing knife skin. And as Rob did point out here, huh, perhaps if we get a ton of haws every day in this thread. People have been playing into this meme and it seems like more than the case now that they are actually gonna be getting this skin because the thread is absolutely filled with these. And as they have added the emote, it seems like more likely the case. Although this could be playing into other skins as well. But mostly it does make sense that we're gonna be getting a throwing knife skin or a throwing knife and fork skin as it just matches way too well. Jumping over for our last one of mentionables, we have all the things around the community. So for the first one here, this person needs help finishing their contract. You need to get 20 headshots using a handgun or marksman rifle. Now it does seem like this kind of bugs out depending on the weapon of choice that you're using. You technically are supposed to be able to finish this with a lot of different weapons, but the V9S, the R357, and the LH1 are the ones that are targeted at that. And technically, as a commenter points out, the sniper rifle is not considered a marksman rifle. So that's probably part of the confusion there as well. A lot of people have tried with the LH1. That one seems to be the go-to and works very often. Or, of course, the V9S, which is another very used weapon. But yeah, some of the confusion there, more than likely, it's probably based on the marksman rifle. And obviously, the sniper rifle isn't a marksman rifle. Although it might be buggy for some. Some people have pointed out that it bugs out with certain weapons. Again, not even just the sniper rifle, but just in general. So do be wary of that. Try the LH1 and the V9S if you are stuck on this challenge. Last up here, lately I've been covering skins that are posted in my finals Discord or the finals runway channel of my Discord. People seem to really like these, so I'll continue to do so. And just to preface how I pick these, I try to pick one that has a lot of emotes on it. People like emoting it and talking about it. So like, for example, this one by DW Dooley who has this fit with the gold mask aesthetic. I actually really like this one as well, and as you can see, it has a lot of emotes on it, including myself. So if you do participate in these, be sure to heart or at least like it in some way or talk about these cosmetics in some way, and that way I'll bring it up for those. And then as usual, I'll try to pick out one that I like as well. This one was posted a while back, but I actually really like the color combos in this. This is by one tapped FFG. Really like the color mirroring here, especially with the pistol. Maybe I'm a bit biased there because I really like the white and red pistol, but I really like the color matching on this one. Overall, it should about cover for today's video. If you like, like, and subscribe, and until the next one, deuces.